Good morning, everybody. Clint with CCUA here. We're out at our outdoor classroom this morning. Uh, today for our veg out video, we are going to do a little bit of tasting. Now I know that's not quite as exciting over video as it is in person, uh, but if you have any of these vegetables in your fridge, you can try to taste along with us afterward. Uh, so we've got several vegetables that are pretty common in gardens this time of year. We'll just kind of take a few bites, see how everything's tasting, make sure everything's good. So here we have uh, Salanova lettuce. This is a Salanova butter, uh, butter leaf. And we've got two varieties. We've got a green and a red. And then we've got this lettuce here that is from last year. And that is overwintered. I'm just going to pull a few leaves off of here. It looks good. Nice coloration on it. Mm. Super tasty. Not any bitterness to it. Just tastes nice and leafy. <laughs> and let's try one of our green ones. And you can see while we're here, we got some squirrels digging in our in our lettuce bed. Mm. And that green is pretty good too. Let's take a look at our kale here. Pull one of these smaller leaves off. So with kale, when you harvest it, what you want to do is take leaves from the bottom and just pull it down to snap the leaf off of the main stem. And you want to make sure that when you do harvest, you leave a few leaves so that it can keep growing and getting that energy from the sun that it needs. Oh, that kale is excellent. It's almost a little bit sweet. We're not going to taste our carrots today because they are still small enough. I don't think we would get much out of them. But here we've got our spinach. Now, this is one that I'm expecting will not be especially tasty. You can see how it's got this big central stem on all of them. And well, that's what we call bolting. A well, plant bolts when, usually when, just when the conditions are right. So for a lot of stuff like spinach, that's when it gets too hot out. Uh, especially because this was planted last year and we overwintered it. And so it tends to bolt a lot more easily. But we'll still try a leaf, see how it tastes. not too bad it's not too bitter yet with spinach it's similar to other leafy greens just go ahead and grab off as many leaves as you can uh, but just leave a few there so that it continues to grow and get that energy that it needs now we've got our potatoes over here but the potatoes underground aren't going to be big enough to taste and we would have to cook them and potato leaves are actually not edible, so we don't want to eat those. But over here, you can see we've got our salad greens. So these we will probably harvest this week. We'll get a nice good harvest out of. But for now, we can do a couple taste tests. So this one here is called Mizuna. It's got nice frilly edges, kind of a thinner leaf. It's one of my favorite salad greens. It's got a little bit of a peppery taste to it. Then we've got some red garnet mustard here. Mm, it's kind of spicy too. Let's see, we got. Uh, 
This is a Toscano or La Sonata Kale, also known as Dino Kale. This is what it looks like when it's really tiny. Once the leaves get big, they get kind of leathery, kind of thick. Uh, and some of them, some of them are okay to eat when they're big, but this is a variety that you have to eat while it's tiny. Oh, here's another. This is Fresh Pock. It is a beet green. Oh, that's a very juicy leaf. That's good. And last is the super frilly one, which is a uh, Wasabina Mustard Green. And almost kind of, well, you probably can't see it on camera, but it's almost kind of got some little spines on it there. We'll give that a try. Mm. Well, they definitely call it Wasabina, and that's got spicy kick to it. Well, I think, oh, I know a couple other things. These are our radishes. I'm going to pull one up. These are going to be about ready to harvest this week, too. Look at that. Isn't that just so cute? Could let it get bigger, but I really kind of like them this side. A little bit cleaned off. We'll tear the leaves. We cook. You uh, need to cook. Them. I always found much better. This radish off. Make sure we get most of the dirt off there. Mm. Really crisp. Not too spicy at all, really. Not as almost not spicy at all. It's got a nice, mild, crisp, radishy taste. It is an excellent radish. And I don't know if any of our turnips will be ready yet. They take a little bit longer to size up. I'm not seeing any turnip roots in there. Not quite yet. But we'll give those a little bit longer. And our last tap. Are our scallions. You can see. They're all kind of leaning over to the to the west here and I'm kind of curious why that is maybe it's just because these trees right here make it so they don't get any sun coming from this direction so I like to reach for that direction but we've got a few that are nice good size we'll just pinch a leaf off try our little deep purple scallions and if you want to see the purple you actually see some right there at the bottom. And that'll get more pronounced as the plant gets older. Ooh, look at that. Uh oh. Just saw about the tiniest snail shell I've ever seen. So cute. Put that back in there. That'll be some good calcium and lime for our soil there. Mm. Nice mild oniony flavor. This would be great diced up and put on some mashed potatoes. All right, friends, I think that is just about all the stuff we have in our garden to taste for right now. Of course, we have lots of stuff in our uh, the main production part of our farm, but we want to make sure we leave that so that, that can continue to grow. We can harvest it and get it sent off to the food bank. Well, if you all have stuff in your garden that's ready to eat, we would love to see what's growing and hear how it tastes. So go ahead and leave us a comment or send us a message. We will see you all tomorrow.
Thanks for tuning in.